The story starts uh, in the dystopian version of Britain where uh, a gruesome form of capitalism has run out of control and technological progress has been stalled in a sort of Victorian steampunky era. And this huge death machine comes out of the sea that everyone thought was buried from the Great War and it starts lumbering northwards. And at the same time, there's a story of a little girl and her dad who are also heading north to um, her granddad's house in the Yorkshire Dales. And slowly, the two stories, the machine and the girl, start intersecting. Both of them are pursued by governments and by feral scouts and by fighter pilots, um, until eventually they both collide in the Yorkshire Dales, and which leads to the end of the piece, where it emerges that uh, the girl is really a robot, the granddad is really Albert Einstein, and it's all been part of a plot to destroy the leader of the city of London, who's, which is this oppressive corporation that's running the whole country. And um, Imogen constantly asks annoying questions about everything in the world and the entire ordering society and Michael has to explain it while constantly in massive bodily peril so we kind of have a lot of comedy right. between the two. Okay, okay, okay. Now press that great big red button in front of you. What does it do? It, it makes cake fall from the ceiling. Yay! Toggles swipes the air as their two seats take off out the cockpit and their parachutes unfurl like billowing poppies into the shrilling, stampeding heavens. And oh my god, there is a giant yellow eye looking into your window! You see the machine eyeing up your vessel like a curious plate. For one moment, everything is still. Ah! You come back up and see the machine turning away. It's still smouldering shoulders jutting like dark sails against the horizon. Ah! 